So now let's talk about fear and the nervous system and specifically what is happening when fear starts to take hold right before we go on stage. The key thing to know is that our autonomic nervous system, which is kind of the main control center, is divided into two main centers, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous systems. The sympathetic nervous system evolved to alert us when there was a threat, to get us moving, to flood us with adrenaline, to get our respiration shallow. It makes our hands sweaty. It's what tells us to run. The parasympathetic balances that and it's called the rest and digest part of the nervous system. And this is more of the chill vibe, the grounded, the centered. So what we're trying to do with the breath, movement, and meditation practices that you're about to learn is to balance these two out. So when the sympathetic nervous system detects a threat and maybe over detects in the case of public speaking and says, oh no, what we need to do is activate the parasympathetic nervous system. And we can do this through uh, intentional breath specifically the kind of breath that we're going to do, which will be very activating to the parasympathetic through the vagus nerve, our diaphragms. And this is more anatomy than you probably want to know. But the key thing is that the kind of breathing we're going to do, the kind of movement we're going to do, and the meditation practices will help us to activate the calming parts of our nervous system to balance out the overdrive part of our nervous system. If you think about the sympathetic part as the gas and the parasympathetic part as the brakes, we're going to learn to put the brakes on when we have over accelerated the excitement part. And the breath, movement, and meditation techniques you're about to learn will help you to do exactly that.